according to my GPS, the geocache should be straightforward. And it says it's not hard to find, and it's at 1,200 meters elevation. zero out into kind of a clearing and the geocache is a nano in the forest and it says other and we haven't got too long to search because the black flies are out and we're not seeing anything. Lear class has gone to get her bug net for her head so we'll give it a minute or two and we might have to call this first one a DNF. But uh, these geocaches we're finding are not easy to find. And this one's rated as a one. Go figure. We can't find a one. We should be staring at it right at in the face. Maybe we're looking right at it. We don't know. Hmm. Well, folks, we've spent long enough looking for a one difficulty to terrain that we can't find. And we're done. <laughs> So starts another adventure in Labrador and Newfoundland. The truck came by and I was pretending I was photographing the river, which I actually was too, but I thought for sure that we were going to have this as a DNF as well because a lot of geocaches that we've been uh, attempting in here in Labrador, uh, we have had a lot of trouble with. And I thought for sure this was going to be one of them as a DNF, but uh, holy do, we'll take a look at this. Uh, that is just evil on a little bridge. Yes. A little nano. Wow. What do you think? This almost borders on evil, I'd say, because uh, it's so small. <laughs> And uh, I don't know, it just doesn't strike me as a... Doesn't strike me as a 1-1. One, one. What do you think? Put your thoughts down in the comments below. a destination danger high voltage keep off that's okay we're not going on you we just want to touch one of your legs yes right we're gonna get a little personal with an electrical tower and that's one I can like boom just like that <laughs> love it you got it I got it good well, that was nice to have a uh, drive-up cache for once, and one that we didn't have to fight the bugs, because out here it's clear, and there's a breeze blowing and keeping the bugs down. Thank goodness. Well, on the road, got to get more, and you got to get to the other end of Labrador and take you with us. One thing that we noted uh, before we set out on this uh, expedition was that there would be no cell service none except for when you're close to one of the large cities say uh, Labrador City Churchill Falls Happy Valley or Goose Bay otherwise uh, between them there's no cell service whatsoever so your phone navigating won't do you any good unless you download the uh, list that you might have created in uh, the geocaching app to an offline map which I did and it is working fairly well otherwise uh, you should make sure that you download everything that you need to be looking for on a handheld GPS R and uh, you'll be good to go 
We've also noted that they have no shortage of gravel and sand. Everywhere you look almost, where every 10 kilometers or so, you see some area where they have taken out uh, a whole area, a whole section of uh, gravel and rock has been blasted away. And then other areas like we're passing now, they're just like wide open, flat. There's nothing there. It's just not even a tree. It's just really odd. But you have to be prepared for endless turns and straightaways of just nothing but trees and trees and trees and watching the clouds go by. Got it? Yeah, the hint was pretty good. It's right down there in the bush. Ooh, it is a large. Nice. Oh, I can get it open too. <laughs> That's a bonus. Maybe. And then maybe, maybe not. Ah, there you go. There we go. <laughs> Woohoo! Lots of bugs. Got it. Another one in the books, and the bugs have found us again. You can't stand still too long out here before the bugs start uh, honing in on you. But up here in the open, it's a little nicer. There's a bit of a breeze, and uh, the bugs don't like that so much. So, another cache found. That's awesome. And just like that, we hit an earth cache. No, we didn't hit it, we stopped at it. So now it's time for us to check an earth cache, and that is a geocache that we'd absolutely find. There's, well, we did have a DNF once on an earth cache. Have you seen that one? You can check that one out right here. I know, it's pretty embarrassing. But anyway, we'll check the answers. There's only three questions. We should be able to get this one and get on our way. And this one is about eskers. Do you know what about eskers? So as the highway travels through, you can see it cuts right through an esker. And an esker is a big pile of rocks that is deposited by rocks and boulders and sand and gravel traveling through an ice tunnel in the bottom of a glacier that was huge, gigantic, it was really high up there. So it traveled and just deposited all the stuff. And over here you can see eskers in lines traveling away. And our answers need to be the direction the eskers are facing, northeast, northwest, whatever, and how high they are, and the elevation. Good boy. Good boy. Or girl. There we go. That was exciting, wasn't that? Very, very cool. And he walked along with us just for a bit and checked us out. Checking us out while we checked him out. Yeah, it was so cute. It was so nice to find. We did see two other bears, but they were a little further ahead than like that one. But not quite as big. That was a big one. So we're glad we could share it with you. We kept our distance. Yeah. You gotta watch out, and we made sure we didn't uh, throw him any snacks. No. Don't feed the bears. We're at the time change. Yeah. We're gonna go 30 minutes into the future. Ready? 30 minutes into the future. Ready? Let's Three o'clock. It's 3.30. <laughs> Let's go back. Time change. It's three o'clock. Let's go back. Woohoo! It's 3.30. Hey, we're <laughs> driving in a time machine. <laughs> so yes, there is a time change and the island of Newfoundland and a portion of Labrador are a half an hour out from everybody else. Why? Go figure. Who knows? <laughs> yes, it does say Black Tickle, a little island you can take a boat over to go and visit. Yep, right, right there. We're headed to the south coast. 
We stopped for a geocache and uh, it's supposed to be really easy but holy doodle there were way too many bugs and uh, the, we, we thought we had it but it was like no it's just too many bugs <sighs> we can't handle it <laughs> so we're not, it's not a DNF because we really didn't look St. Mary's right now. We traveled all the way down to the coast. Mm. We had to do that just to get one cache because we had to find <laughs> something. <laughs> and all Eagle Eyes here found it, and so that's good. Signed us in. And there's one more in town. How many people think that we might find that one? Let's hope so. Or it might be a DNF. Let's see. These Labrador geocaches are tough. Thank goodness we got some easy ones like this that say exactly where it is because some of the others in the bush, it's like, holy doodle. It's like, how are we supposed to figure out where it is in a bunch of trees in the brush? We may as well just stay in Ontario to geocache. Well, we're gonna go off to cook some dinner by the harbor and then uh, call it an episode. So tonight for dinner, we're having some uh, broccoli, onions, uh, red pepper, uh, okra, mushrooms, way too much spinach, and spinach because we brought way too much spinach. She brought a bag, so did I. So we're trying to use that up. And we have no more uh, chicken or pork chops, so we're using some of our cooked up bacon as the meal. And we're having it with uh, some uh, vermicelli rice noodles. So we're gonna cook that up. Fry up all the vegetables with the bacon and combine it all together as a nice stir fry. So there you go, Cash Canada eats really well. Well, that was uh, an interesting day. We've been driving all this way and now we're finally at our journey's end. We're gonna start back the other way yep. soon. Oh, there's more to come though. We have another destination before we start our journey back and we have to stop at Churchill Falls. Right. Right, and so there's geocaching there too. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Where will geocaching take you? Oh, we forgot the spinach. Oh, we forgot the spinach. Yeah. Oh. <laughs>